Welcome to a tutorial on creating an animated image sequence in Unity. Import your images to Unity. Drag them into a folder or right click and choose Import New Asset. This example uses just a few images for simplicity, but you could use, of course, many more. In Unity, select all images and set texture type to Sprite. Don't forget to click Apply. They should now be transparent if your images have transparent parts. Select all the images again and drag them into the scene or hierarchy. Unity will now create an animation of the image sequence and you can name it. A game object will now be created with a sprite renderer. It will also have an animator controller component added. Select the game object to adjust its position so it is in front of the camera and facing the camera. If you later need to move the camera or the object, you can add a script to the game object to make it maintain its position and rotation relative to the camera. Now you can edit the animation sequence by selecting the object and open the animation window from menu or by clicking on the animation asset. Notice the sample rate box. You can set this to a common movie rate like 24 FPS, 30 or something that will suit your case. In this example we use 12. You can view the animation by pressing the main play button or play in the animation preview window. The animation loops from start to end, down, up, down, up. If you look at the animation window, each image can be seen as a small miniature under the keyframe number. It could be very faint, but it's helpful in editing. The example animation could be more continuous and smooth if we expand it. To make changes, press the red recording button to go to keyframe recording mode. On the first frame, image one is displayed. On the second frame, image two and so on. Changes are also visible in the sprite renderer component. After the last image and frame, let's make the wing movement of this figure go downwards again by using the previous image. Use the scroll wheel on your mouse to increase the visible range of frames in the window. To insert another image on a frame, just drag it into the keyframe where you want it. Here we are reversing the wing movement by using image number four again and dragging it into the next frame, then image number three. And finally, image number two. Press play to view. Now it's going up and down, up and down. Another example, five images of the numbers one to five. Perhaps you don't want a new image on every frame. Delete keyframes you don't need. To exemplify, we'll display the number one image in one frame, the number two in two frames and so on. So image number one is just one frame long. Then we drag image number two to the next frame. Number two is going to play for two frames. Number three should play for three frames. And number four should be four frames long. Finally, number five should play for five frames. 
This should end the animation. We'll put a keyframe on the fifth last frame of the number five image. Select the frame, then click on Add Keyframe. To make it easy to follow along, let's set the sample rate to one. That is one frame per second. Now we can count the seconds each image is playing. You can also press play in the preview window.